Hello everyone. Welcome to another Chaos Africa bi-weekly meeting. And I am the facilitator for today. Um the I think somebody just dropped the agenda. I have a short agenda. Um please tell us your go-to comfort food. Bread and beans, Oma. <laughs> wow. Okay. Anything planting in here? Joma, no, it's okay. Anything planting. Ah, uh, this one is very seedful. How do you survive? I think it takes water and air. And air. <laughs> the way this is fresh, I'm not sure it's just water and air, please. Yeah, I like fried yam too, but these days I've not been eating yam because of this new yam thing. I don't know, but I think they just keep inventing yams. Today, new yam. Tomorrow, what I am. Think that this is your go to comfort food. It's not something you see every day. Yeah, I think you can get started with the meeting. Do we have any new people in our meeting? Oh my, I don't think I've seen you in the Kiel Cyber Time before. Have you oh, joined? Hi, good afternoon. I actually joined the last one. I think it was like sometime last month. Okay. Oh, do you know that? Okay. Welcome again. <laughs> um, Chidima, Thank you. Uh, Chidima, are you, is this your first time here? Don't say hi yeah. and good afternoon. Okay, yes, this is my first time. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yes, it's my first time. Did you actually introduce myself? Yeah, I introduce oh, yourself. Let's from what you do. Okay, um, I'm Chidima Samson, <laughs> you know. So um, I'm based in Enugu State, and I'm a product designer. Yeah, I see what Chaos is doing. I, I want to be part of it. Yeah, Thank that's you. Awesome. I have, might have some contributors in any group. That's in any group. I'm trying to remember. Um, but yeah, welcome. Um, Thank hi. you. Cindy, have you joined before? Yeah, I have. Hi, okay. Rex. Yeah, okay. Welcome again. What about Victor? Victor, have you, is this your first meeting? Oh, yeah, and I'll see the picture that I know you have joined the book. Sorry, see. Okay, I think we don't have any more new commands. Welcome, everybody that joined. Ah, Yiga, your comfort food is dollars. <laughs> ah, yes, though. <laughs> we we'll use the dollars to buy food. Wow, I'm seeing the really meetings today. Okay, nice. I have to go for two dollars. Okay. Um. So I think we have. Um. I think the agenda is. If you have any things to add to the agenda, please do. You can add. I see something. Egg and kukumba. Okay, like salad, right? Yeah, something like that. Okay. 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 All right. Um, so we'll start with like focus group updates. There, I think everybody has been doing quite a lot. So, any updates from the developer? Hi, hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon. Hi. So, you were saying that you don't get to see my comfort food, honestly. When I want to do something very hard, I use that to comfort myself. 
I thought you finished it, but you go seek it out. <laughs> so more of the challenge and Oh, like you use it to, uh, yeah, I think I get that now. <laughs> yeah. All right. So it's been a good time for us um, as developers focus group because we are getting things done. Yay. <laughs> your, 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 your volume is not coming out well, except I'm the only one. Like, it's kind of muffled. Oh, I have the flu. Sorry about that. My voice is oh. kind of... Uh, yes, yeah, but can you hear me? Yeah, I think it's better. Okay. Okay, okay. So I was saying that we're having a good time at the developers focus group. Yeah, because um, especially with the uh, budget project, we are getting things done. And um, so I think the last time we talked about um, <clears throat> the fact that we were able to get the budget forms up and running now. So um, event organizers can then go to the website now, apply, and without uh, knowing anything about um, GitHub, just having their GitHub account, they, and then our budget bot creates um, an issue automatically for them. So, like that's a that's a good uh, uh, step in that direction for our event um, budget applications. So. That's one. And I think I am pretty excited about the fact that, um, again, the approach of us coming together to to um, work together on this is really making a lot of sense. So collaboration, we get to like work together. And currently, I'm really looking for front-end developers that I can collaborate with, you know, <laughs> within pair programming to get more of um, the pending issues resolved. Because yeah. um, now, now that we've got this done, unfortunately, um, we now had to work on the design that was outdated. You know that this particular issue now has been around for a long time since yeah, last year. Time, yeah. Yes, and um, I forgot that we had already launched another version of the badging application. Um, before we actually worked on this. So we used the old design to do this. So now we have to now update the copy. So I'm currently working with Gift on that, but we need more front-end engineers to yeah. be able to help us with other pending issues. There is a lot for us to enhance on this particular Biogen website. And the, the working group, the DEI working group, they are so excited about it. Yes, I'm back into this one. By the way, I really want to take out time to say a big shout out to Gift Ohene. I hope I pronounced the surname well. Pardon me if I, I, I don't. And to Desmond BC, they have been fantastic developers working particularly on this issue. It's a big one. They actually um like sacrificed a lot of hours to bring this to bear. So um thank you so much for working on this. And um, yes, looking forward to doing more with you guys. That's it for now. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Adinka. And thank you very much to Gift and Desmond. Great work. I think I was trying to like look at the, as you were speaking, so two things. Um, like, I think just, just my notebook that I saw, right? So if you go to apply, like you've been here now, right? And you click on apply for a badge. Like, I think maybe we should have something. We should have, we should have, since it's already on like event badging page, the apply for a badge just go straight instead of still bringing this. Um, I don't know if that makes sense. Instead of still bringing these two things because it's already on the event badging page, you get. Okay, I, I see what you mean. We'll think yeah. around that again. But then you do uh, have to not be quick here. You have to quick here. And then the other thing I see is like, you see now, it doesn't, you know how like when you click on it, it will show you, it will, like, I thought it wasn't responsive before. But when I said typing, then I now noticed that it was actually there. So maybe there should be like the text box or something and the way it's aligned. 
Mm-hmm. Those things are okay. Do you mean do, do you mean um that you need to see the cursor blinking, right? Once you click yeah, on the box. The blinking. Yes, I you know that yes, that things are like mm-hmm. working. Like mm-hmm. you think it doesn't work until you start typing, right? So and then maybe the alignment or something. Yes, we'll keep working. It's a work in progress, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we keep working on it. Yeah, um, I just easy. need. Sorry. No, this is nice. Like I'm just. Okay. I uh, we just need more, more fronted guys to come on board, and um, I'm much more than coming on board to like be ready for this. If you want to dedicate one hour, just make sure that whatever you say you want to do, you get it done. It's more powerful than um just taking a task and then you go off we really don't get to see people and then you come back and on nice assign yourself i think the beautiful part of it was that people were just able to say oh this one thing i'm going to do it and then sit down with it and get it done it was really a big um, step for us so thank you very much to all that people that made it happen thank you I agree. So I'm, I, I'm now it's functional. Has any projects kind of like uh, any events rather right? have they like applied through this means? Yes, we have. We have. Okay. We have. In fact, we've had a lot of applications since then. Okay. Although there are still some things we need to correct, but then so far, what Don Foster told me, uh, told us at the um chaos community yesterday was that, uh, sorry, on um Tuesday was that um, she has been getting feedback from, from people that got their badges and they are pretty excited about it. So, so far there has been no complaints, but from the inside, we already know some couple of issues yeah. Um, yeah, that we intend to resolve. So, yeah. Okay, great work. Thank you. I did like any other updates. Mm, for now, let's just stick with this. We'll bring more later. <laughs> yeah, any questions from anybody? Okay, so I think there are some people indicating that the uh, front end engineers, so um, these you can join the dev team and then know like what they are working on. I think they have like three meetings as well. So, um, I know this is. It's, it's related, but I, I'm not sure like how to describe. I, I think you're you're following that thread that they had the one with the permission, um, project badging, the one where I think well, someone is trying to like oh yes yeah the tree. So how is that one going? That one is a back end. Is a back end issue. So it, it, it we have a problem currently. And we have not been able to solve it, but we are working on it. So um the the um the the issue is that um the badging bot is being given some permissions that users are not comfortable with present because I think yeah. it has right with and right access to private repositories. So um we wanted to reduce that scope. And I think Enoch has been able to do that to some extent. But the particular challenge we have right now is because we are housing the event badging um, bot together with project badging. Yeah, badging. So you know that, the, yes, you know, the event badging needs a read and write access because it has to create um, an issue for you. So you need to grant it the yeah. right access. But then the person that actually laid the complaint was working on project budget. So, um, we, yes, when I have time to speak with Enoch, we might just then come to make a decision whether to separate concerns. Yeah. I don't know how that's going to be for us, like put the budget board and then um, the board responsible for project budget in different, uh, in different, um, like have different um, uh, um, GitHub repos for it. That's what I mean. So that um, they will be able to have different GitHub uh tokens and all of that. So uh, it's 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 something that we is we be in discussion once um, I'm able to speak with Enoch, which is pretty soon, and probably tomorrow, and this month too. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, I think it would make sense for like those permissions. Uh, some people have like. I, I can understand having access to things like that, like especially like right. I get you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And especially for a project like 
because people sometimes apply for their projects to security security vulnerability. Mm. I, I just fear that it might require some some maintainer hours or some contributor hours because then we now have to lay, then move them to different places again and get each of these uh, bots or APIs to then work again for events and then for budget. Yeah, but um, what we will like, discuss? We might have to reinvent everything, right? We get, yes, that's what I mean. So, But we will do it. We will do it. Okay, thank you. Um, is anybody here for designer? And also, I think um for for um I think OG here, this needing more content, you can put it on the channel or also like you know social media. People want to contribute. Mm -hmm. so, okay, no problem. Yeah. Okay, is anybody here for designer? Who's here? Who's here has not been there now? Okay, I'm moving. Hello, um, hi, I am not really, hello everyone, sorry. I'm not really in the design um, group, but there's an update currently because um, we're kind of working on it together. So um, for October test, the design working group, the chaos design group is looking to collaborate with creative discourse and the schedule the meeting should be later today by 6 p.m. Right. There are a few people, few members in creative discourse who are interested in contributing to design in chaos. And I think Kinsley wants to have a meeting to onboard a few of them. So that's all I know for the design working group. I don't know what else is. Okay, that's great. Thank you for sharing that. I think I saw that sometime. When, uh, um, I think something about brand design or something. Okay. Um, technical writers. Well done. Um, how many you've been doing? But how was the, how was the, Doc Scavengers program? How did it go? Come on here. Yeah, sorry. I've been speaking. I didn't know my mic was muted. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. I can hear you now. Yeah, the, the program was, was amazing. We had we had practical sessions and we still have people still requesting for recording link. Our headhunts was pretty great for the two days. We had over a total of 30 people, both days combined in attendance and we had practical sessions and thank God we recorded the session. So we have been sending out links to people that might be interested, especially newbies. We also oh, yeah. had people I stopped hearing you like after you said people are requesting for recording links. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. So I said we had like a total of over thirty persons approximately or 30 persons combined. And we have people that are requesting for the links. We had also newbies that joined Chaos through the session. I think maybe two or three, or maybe five at most. And yeah, it's been pretty great. We also uh, provided direct support to people that had um, close issues that needed more, more attention to sort out their issues. I jumped on a call with one person. I also dropped Texas with a couple of person. 
then so far uh for the the 14 day sprint which we are currently on we have had people solve problems we have also had people create prs yeah but not much participation might probably look low we have also had people take on personal projects so yes that's been great and we had a sync meeting yesterday so we talked about various ways that we could do beyond just um beyond like creating documents for the community inside the repo so we talked about uh putting more effort in article writing and also assisting focus groups in article writing so we could just get products brief uh talk brief and then write on them we also said something about translating documents which i said i'm going to reach out can you hear me yeah yeah which i said i'm going to reach out to know how translating documents would help maybe in local languages or uh other languages that are in chaos people that have like just to reduce language barrier basically and we also spoke about ways we could help at an accessibility uh stuff which i reached out to toria toria provided a link we are already looking at the link to see how we could make our documents more accessible to people of special needs so yes we have been in a lot of fun, fun things and we hope to do more and we need you guys assistance and information to do more yeah basically and yes we did something with the glossary documents to help newbies on board properly it was an issue that was created it was a concern during the session i think gifts i be somebody mentioned that glossary documents would be good so yeah that has been done i'm working with elizabeth to get it uploaded to the main chaos handle and yeah it's been done basically thank you yeah great work i mean i really like like the workshop i i couldn't join but i know i saw like a couple of tweets about it and that was like really good you know, it's a very good way to get people because I, I know one of the major issues for people is um making the contribution right they could know all the theoretical aspect but like making those contributions something that is hard and that workshop kind of helping people was really that direct support i really like that so well done um any questions or how many I think I would want to I would want to state something, yeah. So the 14 days document sprint that we're doing as a challenge, it's not limited to documentation and it's also not limited to chaos only. You could have a personal project that you're doing for October first, and you could use our issues, our issue creation as a way to basically be accountable of your works and we have people that are on 24 7 tam standby support just tag them and they'll help you to review whatever that needs to be reviewed and if it's beyond your capacity they'll reach out to somebody so it's beyond documentation yeah. and it's a good way to test to test the waters basically to be a personal project or something thank you for adding that um, just before I go to the next group, um, I think I wanted to ask something. So yesterday in chaos board meeting, there was a question around how like, um, when we give like updates about the developer working group, like for the other software, how do you think we can? But I know a lot of people come in and be like for Augur and Remo Lab, like. You've done very great work with the badging project and kind of um making it active, right? And even that's even still in progress. How do you replicate that effort and like what challenges are there? Um, I know there are some that are obvious, but like what challenges are there for like the other software and how can we put them together? Okay. And, like, you mean for Hogger and Grimo Lab, right? Yes, Hogger and Grimo Lab, yes. Hmm. Okay, so um, for now, I think one of the greatest challenge that we have 
please um available contributors to work on a project mm. so in fact i can just say that i am just we are just getting the hang of um you, like i said i just started that approach of peer programming and by that for now i mean that then i have to um call for developers sometimes take the meeting with them mm. and there is so much hours that i can divide between um, more than a, one project do you get which is why i am pretty much focused on the budget projects to see it grow to some extent so yeah. if we can have someone dedicated to say oh okay i am willing to like take this up and say um i will be on people's neck in a nice way now not <laughs> being in, like imposing or anything like i'll be on people let's come together to get this thing done if we can get that, that one for her first, for Grimo Lab and for uh, her girl, I think that would be nice. But for now, I think that um, I can only for now manage um, and manage well the budget project. Maybe when, when we take it to a point whereby we can even take a small break, I might then look at the other projects too. But if we can get other people to come on board, that would be fantastic. Yeah, I think I, I get that. It's really because like um, for Ogo and Grimo Lab, they are like, um, they are not new projects. Like, Badin is a new project, um, relatively new. So, these ones have been around for quite some time. They have like maintainers, um, or even Grimo Lab, like another. Um, although they are still part of chaos, but like the company maintains it. So, there's mm -hmm. a lot of challenges on that end. But like, I think, I think, yeah, even even if at least at the least. I'm seeing, I'm trying to think of how we can do an info session at least and bring one person, one of the maintainers of remote labs, just do something so people are mm -hmm. aware of like okay. what this software is and this is how to use it. So maybe I'm, I'm thinking if we want to organize um, something maybe in the next chaos meeting, like an info session or something, or maybe to be specific okay. to the meeting. Where they'll just be like, okay, this is what Ogre or a Grimo Lab is, and this is how to work on it. This is how the this is how it's built up. Because honestly, compiling and building up that like other like those two software sometimes can be very difficult. So mm. maybe we start with that at least. So just be we I can reach out to like a maintainer for an information at least. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that would that would be cool. Also, uh, that would be great. Okay, thank you. Um, you you had your hand up. Yes, please. I just wanted to say, um, for for the technical writing team, right? Who translating documents to local languages. <laughs> Transition is a very huge, huge, huge task. And I want us to rather focus on, so because we have a lot of transition, sorry, a lot of documentation work that needs to even be done already, right? It would be better for us to focus on doing all of that, right? Getting, and even trying to even get more technical writers, that would be nice. And then we can then split it, split those tasks and try to focus more on translations because translations is, is really, really a lot of work. So I think that that's something that um, Harmony might want to look into that from that perspective, maybe like having a scale of preference, right? So that we know what we're focusing on per time as a team. So I just wanted to to highlight that because it's better for us to even finish up with documentation of chaos needs like a lot of documentation things get worked on right so it's better for us to finish all of that and then we know that you know going forward what we have to do are just like tiny little changes here and there and then we can now move to saying okay let's make this more accessible by mm. having translations and yeah form proper teams around that so that's that's really what I wanted to add. Thank you. Thank you very much, Yiga. I'm coming to Serbia.
thanks so yeah, much well, well, I think, yeah i think i kind of understand that as well um because we don't we probably don't want to like translate just one document and then the other things are left not translated so yeah thank you for sharing that suggestion Bisayo, okay hi everyone i want to talk about um translation and also what adinka mentioned so adinka for the grimoire lab um project i know we have um project managers on standby for that so i think what we just need to do is get people that are interested in working on the project and remaining on it because we have project managers assigned to Grimoire Lab as a project on its own. So once work is about to commence, I feel like that will not be something difficult. We'll just tell whoever is in charge. I think you guys, it's not me and you, or I think maybe we reassigned it to Giga and somebody else. So I feel like that we have people that are ready to own this project. It's just to find people interested in working on it and getting them to start working on it. Then regarding translations, I know last year for October 1st, we had people come in and translate some of Kiel's documentations into French. And it was a really, really nice initiative and it gave other people opportunities to contribute. But I don't know if we have actually really utilized those um, translations that we have, that people worked on. So and I don't want us to make them maybe do that again right so we need to properly plan how to like strategize it and ensure that okay if people even work on this translation it's not just that they do it and it's just left there how do others get to see it how does it get publicized how do people benefit from this work that others are doing behind the scenes because i was on the call when somebody um i was on the session when somebody spoke about translation and it's a very good idea it's a good way to localize the work we are doing in chaos, but we do not want people to just work and it's just there at the background. So that's my addition. Yeah, that's um, that's a good perspective. And um, just maybe I think I think I wanted to add something in the Grimoire Lab. But yeah, that's like a good perspective because I know yeah we did that last year and talking about publicizing like do people know that it even goes down to our tweets like like social media do people like and people relate to like the posts we're making, you know, like for global, I think some global positions that I've seen, they do like different multiple tweets, one in English, the other one in like this language, things like that. So how do we even like create awareness for the ones that we've, um, so I, I think it's something that we can think about as, you know, as all how we can think about. <laughs> Yeah, speaking of publicizing, we also spoke about how are we going to publicize the tools and the projects that are working, like the tools, like the Argo tools, the futures of the stuff that we're doing beyond just the community. And while we, 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 we thought about writing as a way of publicizing it, questions like, would this writing be publicized? Would this article be publicized? Yeah. I think so. Like the chaos blog, like if you send the, if you send a, if you send a this thing like um, what do you call it, like a blog post, like idea to Elizabeth, she would definitely um, she would definitely like want to like push it out. So yeah. Okay, I think I'll reach out to Elizabeth for that. Thank you, thank you so much, Pusayo and Yiga. Thanks so much. Great. Um, yeah, does I think that you want to add anything? Um, not for now. I think I'll just reach out to Buzayo later and then I can we can then just um talk about it in in a in a <laughs> we can just talk about it. Let me just leave it at that. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I'll reach out. I, I changed my, I switched my internet. Oh, um, okay, okay. No problem. Um, So the next one, uh, next focus group, disability and inclusion. Any update? 
Yes. So, um, how many have already touched up on this? But well, we, we think how many myself, Winifred, and eager to talk about how we did include technical writing in our accessibility repository. And uh, one of the ideas he brought up was a glossary, which was going to help people find stuff and get definitions. And that's amazing. I think he has already um, worked on the issue. <clears throat> and we also added a few other issues to the repository. And you got my and myself also worked on adding more um, design issues to the repository so that people can contribute to them for October first. Um, another thing is yeah, the email to Project Enable has been sent. So using the feedback from our concluded event in June, we got I think fourteen. 14 to 15 people who give their feedback and their emails are there. So we sent emails to them and the Project Enable community as well for them to contribute to October 1st this month or this year. So we're still waiting on their feedback. I have actually reached out to Michael to check it out and also do some sort of verbal announcements in his community. And we also put our contacts our contacts in the emails for them to reach out, reach out to us if they need any help. Link to the recording of the just concluded scavenger doc um, workshop was also added for people who needed um, help with getting into GitHub and creating issues and all of that. So I think that is it for now. Oh yeah, the documents, we are actually almost done with the documents and one of the ways the technical writing working group wants to also collaborate with accessibility to help us in editing the document. So after we finish dotting the I's and crossing the T's, the, the team will do the editing and then we can publish it. Then for the spaces we're supposed to have, we are yet to book the um we're yet to book um, sorry, we're yet to schedule the dates. So I'm working with Oluchi on that. So when we pick a perfect date for the spaces, then we can now have this session. And I think that's all for now. Okay, thank you for sharing. I have two questions. So the first one is um for the can you share a link to the accessibility, the the issues, like where where are the issues on is it on the repo or Chaos Africa repo? Yeah, it's on the random. Let me quickly I share the link. Okay. Let me come in uh, here because. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot I that. Korea. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please. <laughs> okay. Um, was someone saying something? Guys, oh, I, I was just... trying to. Oh, I thought she was going to take it up from there. So, he, we have the accessibility repo for accessibility audits, right? And we also have the Chaos Africa repo. So, I think that what we can do is just figure out where we want stuff to be, right? Um, and we can take it up from there. So, the accessibility repo, I know that in one of the meetings for the disability and inclusion, right? We wanted to change the name of the accessibility report to make it um, the disability and inclusion. Okay, are you trying to look for that report? Let me try yeah. to. Yeah, just type in accessibility. Yeah, we'll I it. just sent it on the chat. Be okay. okay. Yeah. So um, that's um, so one option also is for us to change this um, the name of the repo to to focus more on you know disability and everything inclusion accessibility there's that or we just choose which repo we want um, stuff to live on so if especially because of october first right now you know since um, chaos africa we're doing more stuff the, the living repo for october first is chaos africa 
we can actually use Chaos Africa right now. And then for other things, we can, you know, move it to the accessibility repo. So it's just for us to say what we want to do. That's what I think. So over to everyone else. Okay, um, I think, so why I asked this question is, um, I wanted to know like what issues, like the issues that are available for people to work on here and is it visible to people, right? Like, um, and this is even going to be um, doing like with the October 1st, the next topic on like October 1st, like these issues, are there things, are there, are, are, like, are there things that people can work on? Because I know also that the web, for the issues related to the website, um, is not really, everybody can, like, people cannot work on it except you're an admin. So is there a way that we can separate the ones that people can actually work on from those ones that, you know, need, um, what they call it, need admin access to the website, right? And just, just to be sure that people want, is people are seeing that these issues are there because and there's one thing with inviting people to contribute to issues and they come in and then they, they like they come to this page and then they can't actually contribute to these things, right? Because like there's some limitation. Do you, do you get so which of them here are like identifying which ones are like people can contribute to? And how are we making it visible? Like for example, um, there's no Hacktober Fest label on this one, on some of the issues here currently, um, or maybe even on the repo as well. Um, so yes, so that's why I asked that question to see the issues. So maybe that's something that um might want to work on. And then on you got the, the point you made about re changing this. Um, repository um to so like disability and I, I think that's this this conversation so we should move it to probably um I don't know so but let me understand so this accessibility repo during the disability and inclusion working group um the conversation comes up like the accessibility conversation comes up during that working group that's um focus group meeting so like I understand the need for the change yes yes it does but um i think that the one thing that needed to be done as well because this was supposed to be focused on accessibility audits and accessibility issues yeah, exactly. so when we do yes exactly so um we needed you know just approval or you know letting the broader team know oh okay we want to do this is this possible can both of them live together Right. Since we're essentially so the disability and inclusion working group is essentially dealing with people, BWDs, right? People living with disability. And that is what the accessibility audits, you know, they're also the focus of the accessibility audits, right? So it could live on the same place or in the same place, right? So that's um yeah, that's, so but I, it I just think, feels like yeah, yeah, yeah I think go we ahead. change the name. Like, because like you said, like this was the, why we created this repository was focused on the accessibility audit, right? So we should maintain this name because for example, if we're creating like a disability, uh, if we change it to disability and inclusion group, it's, it says that every other focus group in chaos, in chaos Africa should have a repo. And I don't think we want to like start creating multiple repos, we want to have one single source of truth like that's chaos africa repo like everything should be there and i think who was working on that i think harmony was trying to unite all those things together so that it stays in one place but this particular effort this particular repository is for the accessibility audit and like the issues that are here as we are creating them what are the ones that people can work on right and any other information that it's like that we want to create under like the focus group should go to the Chaos Africa repository, right? And then this um repo should remain for the for the audits. Yeah, I think that makes perfect sense. I think I agree with that. Okay. I think I agree so, with that. Yeah. So let's add this. 
try to like be more discreet like these issues that are currently here and the ones that we are creating which ones can people actually work on and mm -hmm. which ones limitations so that it's more visible like okay people can actually start working on this that when people stumble on this they can now um start working on it um, um yeah can I say something? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I was already unmuted. Um, so I wanted to also something just popped up, you know, right now. Um, one thing that I I think might be great as well. So because um how do I put this now? Because we so we're a large team, right? Mm -hmm. So especially for accessibility, um when we conduct the audits and do all of those um, things when it comes to accessibility a good way might be having um so you know how you want to tag the design team right but what the people that we know from design team is just maybe kingsley right i personally do not attend design team meetings so it might be a good idea and now again i don't know if this is the right place to bring this to but i'm just saying it out right so it might be a good idea to have a a um let's say a tiny maybe under chaos africa we can have a working group or like a sub team right to say oh this is the design team that way when we tag um the design team when we say at design team it just goes to everybody in the design team right and let's say we need designers to work on it so for example the first issue there is in the chaos web and it's a design, you know, it's a design issue that is wanted. But another thing is, aside from the, the label design is already there, but aside from the October first issue, or rather October first label that's not been added, I'll add that immediately, by the way. But aside from that, how do people, I think another way is people don't even know where they can contribute. So I think that for Chaos Africa, we can work on the repo, right and create like sub teams and each person each focus group can share their team members do you understand so that when we want to say um this is for design team the person creating the issue can just easily say oh at design and everybody in the design team kind of gets that notification and then the person that wants to work on it can say hey i'd like to work on this so i just it just popped up and i just thought i should raise it up yeah, that's that's it's a good idea, but I I think GitHub projects kind of like will help. I I don't I don't know about how the notifications can work because then like I think permissions maybe the person has to set up some kind of like notification. But projects like for example we have the Chaos Africa repository right, and then if we have a project board there, all the um we can pull in these issues because everything lives under like GitHub.com slash chaos. So there's a way to kind of connect these different um, issues together, um, regardless of which repositories they are in, right? So if we have a project board, for example, and each maybe each working focus group has like a tab, then issues can pull in from like different places, places, right? So maybe that's also something that for project management, um, if yeah. there's somebody, I don't know how we do, how we assign how the assignments like is it to working groups or projects for the project managers so maybe that's something there's somebody assigned to and that's something i can also do really so that's some way that it can be visible right pulling mm -hmm. this issue to a project board so yeah yeah okay so maybe i'll message you later for that so that we can work on that together Okay, I think I think the second question I had, um, just I think somebody raised their hand, but the second question I had was about the Twitter space. Um, what's the Twitter space um ab about and like so <clears throat> you know how um most Katoba um fest events they are usually spaces to talk about either design or work um introducing them coding in open source and stuff like that right and we are relatively new working groups so it's basically talking to new contributors or people who are interested in contributing to chaos as um 
accessibility advocates or <clears throat> to contribute to accessibility in chaos and the different places or different working groups you can actually um work on accessibility in chaos right so that's basically what we are going to be talking about probably um talk to people who have actually contributed to or implemented accessibility in open source invite them to come and talk and yeah, basically let people know about our working group and what we are doing and how to join or work on work and um, contribute to uh chaos or open source in our working group. Okay, okay, I see. Um we can because like there's somebody, I don't know if OG is here, but there's somebody that messaged that we did a Hacktober first Twitter space with last year. I know he messaged the handle again. So it would be great to do another, like at least one Twitter space um, with, with that person or like combine everything together and kind of like we can have like one Twitter space, right? So I don't, I will, I will speak to Oluchi. I don't think she's here again. But I can, I can drop that date with Oluchi and then we can do one space this month. Okay, great. Um, okay, um i think we are almost at the top of the hour um i just want to say well done to brian brian like um brian uh he represented us at PyCon uganda he gave he did a workshop he managed the booth he did a lot of things so thank you very much to brian um for that um i will leave the many like four minutes um Busayo, any hack to first updates Um, at the moment, there's none. It's just well done to Harmony and other members of the team. I know Peculiar also has issues that people have been working on. So well done to both of you. And every other person working on stuff, no other updates from my end. Okay. I just realized that Oluchi is Ella. So yes, um, yeah, that's why I, I wanted to bring it up here. So let's all work together. Um, you can speak. I think you have your hand raised. Sorry. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Sorry, I didn't join with my system. Um, so I was going to address what Amoni said about um publicizing the whole thing. So there is this channel that we created, comms channel. So basically, it's just for us to easily pass. Like if you're speaking at an event, if you're trying, like if you're working on a particular destiny on your focus group, just um, and you want us to like help you, not help you, like you know, say something about that thing. So you just go to the um comms this thing and you know fill it um fill up a form. So if you're a focus group leader, you should be in that comms group so that you can easily pass your um project or whatever it is your people are working on. So I just wanted to say something on that particular thing so that that way we don't get to like miss out. So it becomes working group. Yes, there yeah. is. Uh, I, there was one time Elizabeth actually made mention of it in the general group, like across all the channels. That if you're working on something, if you're speaking at a particular thing, you can always fill up a form and it automatically goes to a spreadsheet. So we see it and you know, pick it up from there. <laughs> Um, um, for the October 1st, yes, I'm discussing with Victoria. So she said she's going to send in details of the Twitter space. So hopefully we push it out. And for the, um, the guys, this thing, like the, the person that you made mention, the phone breaks, I don't know if I need to like, because I saw that you responded to him. So I said you were going to like get back to the team, like you're going to discuss it with the team and then get back to him. Yeah. So I don't know. Like, I, I dropped for a minute, but yes, um, I, I think, yeah, this is me getting back to the team. So let's try to organize something can combine it with um the accessibility stuff as well um, and organize something before the end of the month, but you can continue the conversations with him. Um, uh -huh. There. Okay. So um yeah, like 
I think we're at the top of the hour. Thank you everybody for joining. Um, one more thing. Um, Busayo, maybe we can connect them on this later. But let's um, as October first is ending, the people that contributed, let's rep like we can have a list of people that have contributed, you know, participated in the October first stuff. So, um. Yeah, yeah. Um, to recognize and like um the swags and courses for those not in Nigeria for gift cards. Yes. I'll reach out to you on that. Okay, I think Ruth is having issues. Um, Oluchi, I also think I, I have to reach out to you there's something I think I want us to share on social media, but do you think I should drop it on the comms channel or I should just message you personally? You can reach out to me. I sent you a message. Uh, I don't know if you sent it. Sorry, my will check. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I think we're done. I think we're dropped off, but I think that's the end. So bye everyone. Okay, bye everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye everyone. Bye, bye everyone. everyone. Have a nice day. Bye, bye everyone.